Contenders. I'm your host, Peggan Young. As the weather has gotten very cold outside, you may have noted that people are walking a little bit more briskly in the streets. You may also have noted that time seems to be passing faster now that we're approaching the end of the year. Well, this is a season that reminds us to cherish our friends and loved ones. Let's welcome today's contenders on our stage. <laughs> To our stage, we have the timeout team, Im Jin Ho and Chun Mina. You guys are a couple. You've been dating for quite a while now. How long is it? About four years. Wow. And well, um, now that you guys are on our stage, I know that you guys are vying for a prize, a travel prize. Mm. Right, will you be traveling together? Yes, we plan to. Mm, if you win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good luck to you today and thank you for joining us. And going against you today, we have cousins, the Hao Hao team, Baek Sang Hoon and Chu Son Young. Now, I understand that you speak Chinese and that's why you picked Hao Hao, but uh, share the meaning with us and why you picked that name. Yeah, Hao Hao means that's okay in Chinese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I choose this name because it's simple and unique and it's easy to remember. Mm. Yeah. Hao Hao. Yeah. Well, good luck to you as well and yeah. thank you for joining us on The Contenders. Now, in our first section, we'll be giving you 10 multiple choice questions worth 10 points each. You'll be given five seconds to answer per question. Now, if you get all 10 questions correct, then we'll give you 50 bonus points. If you get a question wrong, then we'll stop there and give you the sum of points up to that point. If you're not sure about a certain question, then you can call out chance and we'll take away two of the incorrect choices and give you a better chance of getting it right. Now, timeout team, uh, please choose among questions that's Q, U, I, and Z. You. Okay, we'll go with you. Question number one. Of the following, which holiday is in December? One Halloween, two Easter, three Christmas, four Thanksgiving. Three Christmas. <laughs> A very easy beginning, and we go to question number two. Of the following, which color do you get when you mix yellow with blue? One green, two purple, three orange, four brown. One green. Question number three. Of the following, which animation has a main character that is a robot? One, Pocahontas. Two, Garfield. Three, The Simpsons. For Inspector Gadget. For Inspector Gadget. Are you laughing because the questions are so easy? Um, no. <laughs> You're just happy to be on our show? Yes. <laughs> All right. And we go to question four. Of the following, which is not needed in the formula for volume? One width, two weight, three length, four height. Two weight. You still have not used chance, and we go into question number five. Of the following, which language did ancient Romans speak? One, Latin, two, Greek, three, Italian, four, Hebrew. If you're not sure, you can call out chance. Um, chance. Okay, we'll take away two of the incorrect choices. And please make your final selection timeout. One Latin. That was a chance well used. <laughs> Made things very easy for you. And we go to question six. Of the following, the final battle between Christ and the Antichrist is called what? One, Apollyon. Two, the final battle. Three, World War Three. Four, Armageddon. Four. Armageddon. And now we're almost approaching question seven. Um, what are your chances, do you think, of getting to question 10 and getting it right and getting the 50 bonus points? Um, I don't know. Likely so far. <laughs> oh, wow. And we go into question seven very confident. Question seven. 
Of the following, which body part has the smallest bone? One nose, two brain, three ear, four toe. Four toe. Yes, it is actually the ear that has the smallest bone. Well, you end the section with 60 points. Very good job. And now, how how team, you have choice of uh, question sets Q, I, and Z. I. Okay, we'll go with question set I, number one. In baseball, how many balls does the batter need to advance to first base? One, three, two, four, three, five, four, six. If you are not sure, you can call out chance and we'll take away two of the incorrect choices. Yeah, number Champ? two. Uh, no. no, two? Yeah. Good choice. We had a pretty long pause there. Um, you're not a big baseball fan? Actually not. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> and we go on to question two. Of the following, which is not a Korean cable television network that specializes in movies. One OCN, two Tonga TV, three HBO, four Home CGV. Yeah, number two Tonga TV. Very good. And we go on to question number three. Which of the following would not be used at a traditional Western formal dinner table? One mug, two spoon, three table napkin, four fork. One mug. Okay. Now you did end up using your chance very early, but you're going through the rest of the questions fine. We go to question number four. Of the following, which movie starring Hugh Grant is not set in England? One, About a Boy. Two, Bridget Jones' Diary. Three, Nine Months. Four, Sense and Sensibility. How, how, final selection? Yes, four, Sense and Sensibility. Sensibility actually is a famous English novel and it is set in England. How how you end the section with 30 points and timeout is ahead, but we have a lot ahead, so we'll see what happens. Timeout, you lead at the end of this section with 60 points. Now, this second section is where we test how well you work together. Time out, I know you've been together for four years. Um, we'll see how well you work together. Take your position next to me. Now, as you well know, this is a section where we give you 20 words in a pre-chosen category. You chose musicals. Um, why is that? Do you have a favorite musical? Um, we like Les Mis. It mm -hmm. was the first musical we saw together. Ah, good memories. <laughs> did you say, see it again when it came to Korea? Yes, we did. Ah. Very recently. So you like this category very much? Uh, we'll see after. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> we'll give you 10 points for every word you get correct. Remember, you cannot use the word that we give you on the board. Okay? So if you're ready, time out. Ready? Yes. Go. This is the place you go to watch. Broadway? No. Theater? Yes. Um, tryouts. To be a participant. Audition. Um, this is on 42nd Street. Broadway? Um, not the East, but... West Side Story? Yes. Um, this is the lead song in the movie Cats. It's about... Moonlight? No, it's um, thoughts of reminiscing the past like a thought of the past. When you um, try Emory? to... Memory? Um, this is the line, the, 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 the lion, and they go down the yellow brick road together. Wizard of Oz. Um, this is the Korean one I saw very recently. Um, at Young Sung Hwang Ho, The um, Last Empress? Yes. Um, this is the one where we're on the trapeze ropes and they're flying above De La Guarda? Yes. Um, this is... Um, not the east, but the... Uh, west. And... Yes, and then 
Not uh, the beginning, but the... Um, West Side Story. No. Um, Pass. Um, lease. You not, you're rent. Not, yes. Um, this is the producer. He did a lot of um, produce. Uh, he produced. Lady. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes. Um, <laughs> this is a um, Spanish for mother. <laughs> this proved to be a very fun category, actually. Um, you ended not going over the musical that involves ABBA songs being done, Mamma Mia. Yeah. yeah? yeah. <laughs> and you passed on Not East and Not the Beginning, West End. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you end the section with 160 points. Good job, time out. <laughs> and now, Hao Hao team, please take your position. You picked a pretty fun category as well, games and playthings. Now, what is your favorite game? I like blackjack or gamble. mm -hmm. <laughs> gambling. Kind of gambling. Mm -hmm. Do you win a lot of money? I lost a lot. Oh, you lost <laughs> a lot, yeah. <laughs> Chances are. Yeah. Anyway, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready? Go. It's, it's Chinese? Uh, Europe? Chess. Oh, senior, senior game. Bingo. Sky. Kite. Pass. Online game. Under online. Yeah, on name of online. Online game. Yeah, it's famous. Starcraft. Right. Shot. <laughs> Dot. <laughs> uh, it's a it's part name. Uh, he's a famous of Go, Baduk. It's Korean. Person. Korean? Yeah. Player? Yeah, player. Lee Chang? No, Path. Okay. Path. Uh, it's a, it's a, it begins B, my, my hobby. <laughs> Billiard. Yeah. Path. Path. It's, a, it's a one of gamble. With card, Trump. Black the other check. one. It's name of card game. Hockey. Yeah. Pass. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's going down. It's a big Y. Going down. Yo yo. Yeah. Uh, pass. Uh, string. Jump rope. Yeah. Pass. It's Korean traditional game. Uh, Flower. Leg. It's Korean name. This proved to be a tougher category to describe than I think you bargained for. Um, you ended not going over tegi, tegi tagi. Uh, that's yeah. men do that with their legs up. Well, women too, right? <laughs> and um, you p passed on uh, lineage which is a big Korean uh, online yeah. game, yeah. Um, as well as uh, Jigsaw Puzzle, which is one of the pu puzzles that we like to play. Anyway, you s end this section with 110 points. Uh, that is, again, behind Time Out, but we still have this very important third section. So, well, Time Out, you're in the lead with 160 points. Now this third section is where we'll have Mr. Kim Jun Sung come out and join us and give you the questions. Thank you for joining us again. Yeah, how are you? Okay, how are you? Your hair looks really nice, oh, by the thanks. way. thanks. Somebody told me that your hair looks like Oprah Winfrey. Uh-huh. But I think I personally think that you look better in that hair. Oh, really? Than she does. Really? Thanks. Oprah Winfrey is one of my big mm, heroes, yeah? Really? Yeah. I mean, she's a great... Um, Spokeswoman, I think. Yeah, she seems to be able to just talk about any topic with about anybody. Yeah. Just about anybody. Yeah, and makes people feel really comfortable. Anyway, <laughs> now what are our rules, Jun Sung? Um, the rules for this round is that, uh, well, first of all, this round has 15 questions. Each question is worth 30 points. Uh, the first team that buzzes in can answer the question. And uh, when the team gets it wrong or cannot answer the question, then the question will go over to the other team. And you have five seconds to answer. And uh, when both teams cannot answer the question, we, we, we will give you a spelling hint. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have to remember that 
you can only shout out the answer and after I call out your team name. Yes? Okay. Shout it out. Yes, shout it out yeah. so we can hear you. Okay, so we go to question number one. Okay, question number one is about a country. Last month, Rogers Rob and Joyce Chep Chumba completed this country sweep of the men's and women's division in a New York City marathon. The locals who live in the high elevated areas of this country have an advantage in racing because they have bigger and stronger lungs. What is this country in Africa? I'm out. Kenya. Time out, you're increasing your lead. How, how? I want to remind you to get back in the game. And of course, since each of these questions are worth 30 points, I mean, you only need a few to catch up, okay? And so, let's go to the second question, please. Okay, question number two is about a company. This firm's second quarter profit this year surpassed those posted by Microsoft, Intel, and IBM, making it the, world, making it the world's most profitable IT company with profits of $1.59 billion. Its main products are semiconductors, LCD panels, and household appliances. What is this Korean company? How how? Yeah, Samsung. Very good, how how? It's nice to see you on the board for this section. And let's go on to question number three. Okay, question number three is about history. December, uh, December 7th, 1941 marks a notorious event in U.S. history, the bombing of this site, a principal naval base of the United States. Time out. Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And of course, that caused the U.S. to step in with the Allies. Yeah, well, well whatever. They won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and we go on to question number four. Okay, number four, religion. Uh, this is particularly sacred to Muslims because the Quran was first revealed to Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, during this month. Psalm is fasting. It's the fourth of the five pillars of Islam. Time out. November. How, how? It's your chance to answer and we'll finish the question. Muslims are required to fast during this ninth month of the Islamic calendar. What is this? How, how? Five seconds. Okay, now let's look at the spelling hint. Time out. Ramadan. Ramadan. You seem pretty uncertain about the answer, but it was a good guess on your part. You're increasing your lead. How, how again? I'd like to remind you that they're each worth 30 points. Take a chance. And we go on to question number five. Okay, question number five is about a slogan. The ethical treatment of animals' famous publicity stunt consists of having naked people parade, usually in winter weather. They held a large banner that covered strategic portions of their anatomy. This banner read, I'd rather go naked than wearing this. This is a soft, dense coat. How, how? Yes. Four. <laughs> Very good. Rather than wear any fur, they'd rather go naked. Mm. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Have you seen Ace Ventura, by the way? Um, yes. Have you seen how he takes one of those animals and puts it around himself uh -huh. to parade, to make fun of people who wear fur coats? Yeah. That was uh, very effective, I thought. Yeah, That's kind of ridiculous strong. when you think about it. When people wear fur coat, they're actually wearing animals. So he actually took an animal, put it around his neck, and danced with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we go on to the next question, please. Okay, number six, bird. Many of the so-called Darwin's blank species on the Galapagos Islands are being attacked by the larvae of parasitic flies. This bird, which lives only on the Galapagos, was studied closely by Charles Darwin for his theory of natural selection. What is this small songbird? The small songbird. Time out. Oh, we didn't press. Hummingbird? <laughs> how, how, it's your chance to answer five seconds. How, how? Butterfly. Again, let's think about this singing bird. Let's look at the spelling hint. They are Darwin's special birds. How, how? Darwin's special. Oh Final answer? Oh. Time out, five seconds. 
take a guess. Okay. Actually, the correct answer that we are looking for is oh. Finch. Again, I'd like to remind you that once we actually give you a, a chance to answer after the op opposite team has taken their chance, you should just take it. Even if you're not sure, just stick in any letters you can possibly put in there. If you said pinch, you know, the person <laughs> upstairs might have misheard it and gave it, given the right answer. So <laughs> just, just, just go for the guess next yeah. time. Yeah. Anyway, let's go on to question number seven. Okay, number seven is about finance. Last month, Europe's, big, Europe's biggest football clubs considered this as a solution for the spiraling costs that are threatening the financial future of the game. This is the maximum amount of, of money that can be paid collectively in salaries, especially on a professional sports team. What is this? Time out. Cap. We, were, we would have taken salary cap as well. And yes, that is the limit that you can put on a professional team's amount of money they give out to the players. And Hao Hao, I'd like to encourage you. Uh, time out, you are in the lead, 280 versus Hao Hao's 170. Now let's go on to question number eight. Okay, question number eight is about an element. Police in Tanzania say they have seized 110 kilograms of an element suspected of being this and arrested five people. In its raw form, yellow powder of this can be used to make radioactive material for nuclear industries. What is this radioactive chemical element whose symbol is U? Uranium. Time out. And question number nine, please. Okay, question number nine is about geography. Last month, officials of the six nations that shared this river, China, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Myanmar, and Vietnam, met to make plans regarding its development. In Thai, the name of this river means Mother's River, and it is one of the principal rivers of Southeast Asia. What is this river? Time out. Is it the Yangtze River? How, how? Five seconds. Let's keep in mind all the countries that share the, the river is border, and now let's look at the spelling hint. China, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Myanmar, and Vietnam share this river. Time out. Mi Long River. How, how, five seconds. We were actually looking for Mekong River. Yeah, of course, other names exist for this, uh, the Zha Chu in Tibetan, the Lang Kang Jiang in Chinese, or the Mei Nam Kong in Thai. And now let's go on to question number 10. Okay, question number 10 is about a rider. December 6, 1933, a federal judge ruled that Ulysses by this rider is not obscene. The book has been banned immediately both in the US and England when it came out in 1922. The author was one of the mo one of the foremost literary figures of the 20th century. Who is this Irish author? We are looking for the author of Ulysses, and let's take a look at the spelling hint. How now? Samuel John. Time out. Five seconds. James Joyce. Time out. James Joyce. Good job on that one time out. I'd like to remind you that you should only call out the answer after you've buzzed in and I've called out your team name, okay? And so let's go on to the next question. Okay, question number 11, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, for computer. On November 8th, this PC was simultaneously released in many parts of the world. This PC is a design for a fully equipped personal computer that allows a user to take notes using natural handwriting on a digital pen. Time out. Tablet. And so they've come up with pen, uh, pen sensitive touch screens. So you can just write anything you want in your own handwriting and it'll write it out for is us. It, is it out right now? Have uh -huh. you ever yes. tried it? It makes things a lot easier for us computer users. And now let's go on to question number 12. Okay, question number 12 is about law. Here is a hypothetical case. 
Now listen closely. Sarah hit Jessica in the face with her bag over and over. Jessica punched Sarah in the nose and broke it. Sarah called the police and Jessica was charged. As long as Sarah, uh, as Jessica, sorry, used only necessary force to stop Sarah, she would probably be found not guilty. What defense would Jessica use? Time out. Self defense. Very good. Some very, very vicious girls fighting. <laughs> yeah, other. pretty scary. And we move on to question number 13. <laughs> okay, question number 13 is person. December 20th, 1946, the forces under this person launched a night revolt in the Vietnamese capital of Hanoi. French colonial troops, uh, French colonial troops cracked down on the communist rebels. He and his soldiers immediately fled the city to regroup in the countryside. Who was this Vietnamese communist leader? Vietnamese communist leader. Let's take a look at the spelling hint. Time out. Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> And let's go on to question number 14. Okay, question number 14 is about a word. New expressions such as new expressions such as Botox, Star Wars, and this are among the 3,500 additions to the just published edition of the shorter Oxford English Dictionary since its last revision in 1993. This refers to somebody who is trying to be like another. What is this word? someone trying to be like someone else. Let's take a look at this. Time out. Wanna be? Uh -huh. <laughs> a lot of the new words are more colloquial phrases that we commonly use, right? And we go on to the last question of this category. Question number 15 is about health. People who drink this occasionally may have a lower risk of developing dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, researcher suggests. Research suge suggests, sorry, they believe the key to its beneficial effect are a group of compounds called flavonoids, which are found in this particular. Time out. Red wine. And with that very strong answer, time out, you win and go on to the finals. Congratulations. <laughs> And time out, well, your trip together seems closer at hand. All you have to do is do a good job against our De team, the group of two men. Um, do you have any special strategies to go against them? No, not right now. They just looked very good um, on the last show, and mm -hmm. we'll just try our best. Okay, try your best. Well, um, we'll see you back in just a minute, and we'll be right back after this. final stage and now let's welcome back the Da team. <laughs> Philip Lee and Eric Sa, we welcome you back onto our contender stage. I know that uh, reaction from your friends and family must be very positive, but I understand something very especially positive happened for you in terms of support this week. Yes, uh, my mother's here visiting from the United States mm -hmm. uh, to lend her support. And where is she? Um, she's right here. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Okay. There's a, there's thank a family you for joining. resemblance. Oh, thank you. That's yeah, very much. It's and good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, well, it's good to have you back on our stage. Now, I wish all of you good luck, and let us begin this final section. Final section will be giving you five categories, five questions each, 10 to 50 points each. If you get a question correct, you can choose the next question. If you get it wrong, then the chance to answer goes over to your opponents. Now, what are categories today? This week's categories are cups, financial terms, celebrity name, Radio Gaga, 
driving safely. Mm -hmm. Radio Gaga is, of course, radio, tri radio trivia and cups having to do with cups. <laughs> Very easy. Now, um, now, duh, you are going for win number four in a row. Time out. This is your first time out. Uh, so we'll see what happens today. I get to pick the first question and I will go with cups for 10 points. Founded in 1930 with just 13 teams, this is now the The World Cup, Soccer World Cup. <laughs> so very strong, you've already got 10 points on the board. Yes, that is the, uh, the World Cup or the soccer games are the most popular sporting event in the world. And of course, the first time it was played in Asia, it was hosted by two nations, Japan and Korea, and it was 2002 this year. And duh, you get to choose. Uh, Cups for 20. Same category, cups for 20 points. The Holy Grail is the cup said to be used by Jesus Christ at the Last Supper. It was sought after by medieval knights. In the third and final film, the Nazis have kidnapped this character's time out. Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. Father, actually in this movie, um, the character's father was kidnapped for his diary in which he mentions the cup and of course uh, leads the search. And time out, it's good to see you on the board. You're in the lead and you get to choose the next question. Um, we'll choose financial terms for 10. Financial terms for 10 points. For 10 points, RPI stands for Retail Price Index and it is, and it is used to measure the level of this. Every month, Duh. inflation. And of course, these are the higher prices that come with the increase in the supply of currency or credit relative to the availability of goods and services. You've equaled the score again, duh, 20 versus 20, and you get to choose. Uh, cups for 30. Cups for 30 points. Last month, the America's Cup Challenger Series quarterfinals was begun. The America's Cup has 151 timeout. Louis Vuitton Cup. Duh, it's your chance to answer and I'll finish the question. The America's Cup has 151 years of history. Originally known as the 100 Guinea Cup, it was held first in 1851. The US team won and thereafter it was known as the America's Cup. It's the oldest trophy in sports, an incredible scope of technological innovation, legendary figures, and international rivalry across the globe. Here is the question. In which sport is the Ameris Cup, Air America's Cup awarded? Duh. Yachting. Mm -hmm. Timeout, it was daring for you to take the chance, but uh, you get the points. You're in the lead, 50 versus timeouts 20, and you get to choose. Uh, cups for 40. Cups for 40 points. A cup is also a unit of volume used especially in cooking, equal to eight fluid ounces. You're shopping for ingredients. The recipe calls for four cups of milk. You would buy the quart size and you won't have any leftovers because there are four cups in a quart. The recipe calls for one cup of brown sugar, but you don't have a cup measure, just a tablespoon. A tablespoon is a unit of capacity used in cooking equal to 15 milliliters. Now, how many tablespoons are in a cup? Duh. 12. Time out, five seconds. Time out. Eight. Now I'd give you a hint. A tablespoon is equal to half a fluid ounce. Duh. Is it one cup? Was that the question? Six? Sixteen. Final answer? Sixteen. <laughs> yes, I mentioned at the very beginning that we were each uh, a cup is equal to eight fluid ounces, yeah, and you I did don't the use math. Ounces, <laughs> milliliters. What, what do you use? We use milliliters in Australia. So okay. Liters. Yeah. And uh, you get to go again. Uh, can we close cups? Sure. Closing the category, cups, fifty points. What you're listening to now is a song that enhances the atmosphere in the part of the opera, La Traviata. 
In her Paris salon, the courtesan Violetta greets party guests, including Alfredo, who sincerely admires her. They hold up glasses filled with red wine and wishes for joy to overflow in glasses filled with the beauty of love. The composer of this music is also well known for Rigoletto, Il Travatore, and Aida. Time out. Vivaldi? No, uh, Verdi. Yes. This famous Italian composer Verdi was the person we were looking for. You're catching up. 70 versus does 90, and you get to choose. Time out. Uh, celebrity name for 30? Celebrity name for 30. 30 points? Yes. Celebrity name for 30 points. Maria Anna Sofia Cecilia Calagoropoulos was born in New York City. Duh. Maria Callas. <laughs> And yes, she changed her name to simplify it. And of course, she has had her final operatic performance in the Royal Opera House in Tosca in 1965. And uh, you get to choose. Uh, financial terms for 20? Financial terms for 20 points. For 20 points. Following 1985, the yen rose sharply in value over the next few years. Banks sought for funds in real estate development. In May 18, uh, 1989, the Japanese government tightened its monetary policies to suppress the rise in value of assets such as land. And bang, the Tokyo, uh, Tokyo stock market has fallen 38% by the end of 1990. This is an economy experiencing unusually rapid and often temporary growth as indicated by rising securities. Is that a bubble economy? Yes. And of course, it, it's indicated by rising securities prices and increased employment and uh, you're increasing your lead you get to choose um financial terms for 30. financial terms for 30 points for 30 points last month the imf predicted that the 2002 this of russia will show a strong growth more than four percent thanks to the increase of domestic consumption Good. economic growth <clears throat> time out time out gdp <laughs> And of course, it's used to estimate the output of the economy. We would have taken gross domestic product as well. Time out. You get to choose. Financial terms for 40. Financial terms for 40 points. George Soros has been put on trial for alleged this. The trial relates to an attempted takeover of a French bank in 1988. The bid was led by corporate raider Georges Pebereau, who built up a substantial stake in the bank before trying to take control. The bid failed, but he is accused of using the knowledge to make millions of dollars. This is a profitable yeah. insider trading. Yes. And of course, this is profitable trading in securities that is done using access to privileged information. And of course, it's against the law. Duh, you get to choose. Um, can we close financial terms? Sure. We close this category, financial terms, for 50 points. With the risk of war with Iraq apparently rising, investors like these want to pay fixed rates in short-dated maturities. Originally, such investments derived from the concept of futures, where buyers uh, guarantee commodity prices by offering producers a price in advance of the harvest. The futures market was created to protect companies from price volatility. Although highly risky, these institutions actively invest in a potentially lucrative market. Time out. Hedge funds? Very strong, and of course, it's very lucrative potentially. And timeout, you are actually closing. Does lead 150 versus 180, and timeout, you get to choose. Driving safely for 10. Driving safely for 10 points. Hi, I'm Song Nakun, and I work for the Road Traffic Safety Authority. What form of transportation did you use today? Maybe you took a bus, a taxi, or maybe you drove yourself. Whatever the means of transportation, the important thing to remember is to yield and be safe. Driving consideratory is the only way to widen our load. But of course, there is no yielding in quiz. Now, if you are ready, let's solve some questions. Whenever you go on to a load riding on a vehicle, you are faced with possible danger or accidents. Road traffic regulations help prevent danger and hindrances and enable people to travel safely and conveniently. Of the following, 
which cannot travel on motor vehicle roads according to Korean road traffic laws. One, a school bus. Two, a car being towed. Three, a fire engine. Four, a bicycle. A bicycle. A bicycle, <laughs> <laughs> a bicycle cannot be on our roads. And uh, you get to choose. Um, celebrity name for 10. Celebrity name for 10 points. This person's best work is characterized by broad, often irreverent humor or biting social satire. His writing is also known for realism of place and language, memorable characters, and hatred of hypocrisy or oppression. While working as a reporter for a Nevada newspaper, Samuel Langhorn Clemens, a former Mississippi riverboat ri river pilot, adopted this pen name, De. Mark Twain. Yes. And of course, in river parlance, it means two fathoms deep. And that was a measurement they needed in order to cross the very shallow Mississippi. And of course, De, you get to choose again. A celebrity name for 20? Celebrity name for 20 points. Al Brooks has been described as a West Coast Woody Allen. Some say his films never quite hit a comic bullseye, but they are invariably filled with clever ideas and memorable moments. He was born Albert Lawrence Blank, a name he later changed to avoid being confused with the German-born American physicist, best known as the creator of the special and general theories of relativity. Duh. Einstein. <laughs> Very good. And uh, you get to choose again. Uh, celebrity name for 40? Celebrity name for 40 points. Gordon Matthew Sumner is the name his parents gave him. Primarily a musician, he worked in a popular rock trio until 1984, after which he went solo. Since then, he holds a reputation as one of the most literate songwriters and talented musicians in the world. Time out. Sting. Yes. And of course his name came from his yellow and black striped sweater from which Gordon Solomon said that he looked like a bee. And of course he was part of the group police. And time out, it's good to see you on the board again. You get to choose. Celebrity name for 50. Celebrity name for 50 points. Eric Weiss began his career in 1882 as a trapeze performer. He took his professional surname from that of the French magician Jean-Eugène Robert Houdin. Among this renowned de Houdini. Yes. He renamed himself, of course, Harry Houdini. And he had very great tricks. And of course, he was a magic magician who cemented his reputation for genius. And de you are increasing your lead, and you get to choose again. Uh, Radio Gaga for 10. Radio Gaga for 10 points. For 10 points, amateur operators executed spectacular feats such as the first transatlantic radio contact. They've also provided valuable voluntary assistance during emergencies when normal communications are disrupted. One of the original stations operating from Harvard used these call letters, which stood for the first letters of each of the, sh uh, the sure names of the operators. Duh. Ham radio. And of course, it came to mean a radio hobbyist, a licensed amateur radio operator. And the operator's names were Albert Hyman, Bob Almy, and Peggy Murray. So Ham, H-A-M. And duh, you get to choose. Uh, radio Gaga for 20. Radio Gaga for 20 points. For 20 points. In the Japanese movie Reijo no Jiken, a radio play is going to go on air. Suddenly the leading actress decides that she wants to change the name of her character to Mary Jane and not Ritsuko. That leads to the chain of events which changes the play completely. In the end, the male character wants the name written on the paper bag of a hamburger. This is one of the best known fast food restaurant companies that adopted the Golden Arches as its trademark. Time out. McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And of course, the English title of this movie was Welcome Back, Mr. McDonald. <laughs> Have you seen that funny. movie? No. no. Oh, you've got to watch it. It yeah. is hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. And time out. It's good to see you on the board. You get to choose. Okay, we'll do uh, Driving Safely for 20. Driving Safely for 20 points. Sleek, silver, and rare. Doka seemed to be a perfect match for this person, and he fell in love the instant he saw it. 
He left Los Angeles headed for the race in his Porsche Spider 550. Suddenly, at the intersection, Dr. James Dean. Yeah. He actually had an accident at this intersection. And of course, he died instantly at the age of 24 in 1955. And his early death, his very tragic early death, contributed to his enduring legend. And of course, I'm, this American actor is James Dean. I'm very surprised that you got the answer because I really can't understand this guy. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, I just heard the Porsche. And yeah, you're, LA. you're very, hearing very intently, but all of your expressions are like. <laughs> <laughs> I think I missed the first half of what he was saying. Well, he um, got it, obviously. Yeah. Porsche Spider is the important thing, 550, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Okay, and uh, you get to choose. Uh, Radio Gaga for 30. Radio Gaga for 30 points. Okay, 30 points. Radio Caroline began broadcasting to the southeast of England from a boat anchored in the North Sea at noon on March 28, 1964. On a fundraising trip to the U.S., the founder Ronan O'Rahili was captivated by a photograph showing this president's daughter Caroline playing in the Oval Office. Time out. Uh, John F. Kennedy. Yes. And of course, John F. Kennedy was the 35th president of the United States, and he was assassinated in Dallas, Texas in 1963. And time out, you get to choose. Uh, Radio Gaga for 40. Radio Gaga for 40 points. For 40 points. Radio had no single inventor, but grew out of several international developments. This person clarified and expanded the electromagnetic theory of light, which had been proposed by the British physicist James Clerk Maxwell in 1884. He proved that electricity can be transmitted in electromagnetic waves. His experiments with the waves led to the development of the wireless telegraph and radio. The unit of frequency... Marconi. Yes, but time out. It's your chance to answer, and please finish the question. The unit of frequency, one cycle per second, was renamed as the name of this person. Who is this German physicist? Time out, five seconds. Band. Time out. Band. 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 Dead. Hurts. Hurts. Actually, I think they were a bit ahead of themselves. They were trying to, you guys were trying to name the, the actual inventor yeah. of the radio. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we mentioned that it didn't have one inventor, but many. Well, I think that's recent theory. I think they used to say Marconi invented it, yeah. and now they say lots of people invented it. They're saying, was it Tesla was the only, uh, other Much person? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, we try to correct history, don't we, as we go along? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you get to choose. Um, can we close Radio Gaga? For sure. Let's close the section. Radio Gaga, 50 points. Digital radio was developed by a consortium of 12 partners known as Eureka 147. Digital radio is made up of, of a single block of frequencies called this. This is able to carry stereo and mono radio channels as well as services such as text and data. This is a simultaneous transmission of two or more signals along one communication channel. What is this word, which is formed from the Latin words meaning many and four? Duh. Dual band. Time out, five seconds. Time out. Final answer. FM. This also refers to a large movie theater complex that has several separate units. Duh. Multiplex. Yes. And uh, you get to choose. Uh, driving safely for 50. Driving safely for 50 points. Globally, fatigue is responsible for some 30% of the 700,000 deaths on the world's road each year. Facelab, developed in this country, is a system that tracks and monitors Car drivers by cameras. <laughs> you pressed it, don't worry. Uh, GPS. Time out, it's your chance to answer, and he'll finish the question. Every glance is tracked and every blink monitored, with your car warning you before you are going to have an accident. Fatigue is a major problem in a country as large as this country, where it can take 10 hours or more to drive between main cities. What is this country? Time out, five seconds. Time out. Germany. 
Australia. <laughs> and of course, this is where you're from. <laughs> and I'm glad you got that right. <laughs> and so you get to choose. Uh, driving safely for 40. Driving safely for 40 points. According to research, the action times were, on average, 30% slower when using this than the mobile phone, cell phone, cell phone. Yes. Apparently, using the cell phone is very damaging um, because it slows down your reactions and it actually uh, keeps you from keeping a regular distance from the car ahead of you. So, do not use your cell phones while you're driving. Do you guys? Uh, in you guys America, we all use cell phones. When and we're it's not against the law in the United States. I think now it is. Mm -hmm. Some states, not yeah. all. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be scary. I don't know if you've ever used one, but I've used one while, while I'm driving. Yeah. And I just can't remember how I got from there to here. <laughs> and that's pretty scary yeah. when you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sometimes we shouldn't do you it. You don't even have to be on the cell phone. You can just be driving and not know how you got to where you go. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for, for sharing that. For certain people, yes. <laughs> for certain people. And we have just one question on the board. Driving safely for 30 points. Hydraulic control valves for each brake circuit prevent the skidding during <laughs> panic time. Duh. ABS. And of course, ABS keeps us from skidding on roads when conditions are not great. With that strong answer, you actually end up being winners four times in a row. Duh, congratulations. Various prizes are awaiting our winning contenders. Your first win will take you on a trip to Jeju Island. Your second win to Japan. Your third win will take you to China. And on your fourth win, you'll win a trip to Southeast Asia. On your fifth win, a trip to Hawaii. Your sixth win, a trip to the United States. And on your seventh win, you'll take the grand prize of a tour of Europe. We hope many of you join us. Well, time out at the very beginning of our quiz. You said that you wanted to make some good memories um, while you joined us on our show. I think we did that, right? Yes. They did really well, yeah. actually. Yeah, it was pretty tough going against the Duh team because this is their um, fourth time being with us and people get used to being on stage and buzzing in. Now, time out. I know you have supporters and friends back home who are watching. Uh, do you want to say a moment, uh, take a moment and say something to them? Yeah, we had a good time here today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for joining us. And now, the team, well, one of your mothers is here, and you've won for the fourth time in a row. Uh, share your good feeling with us. Well, my mother didn't come, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to dedicate this win to your mother? Or? Yes, we're going to dedicate this one to my mother. Uh -huh. um, and we're just happy we won another one. Congratulations again. And with that, we have a new four-time winner, the De team. We'll see what happens next, next week. Join us again, and have a great week. Bye-bye.